Next chapter as this evolution begins, we've got the chance for the severe weather. Now, today we could see some large hail possible all the way over portions of southern Missouri through a good chunk of the state of Arkansas and into portions of Texas and Oklahoma. That's a level one out of five, but you could still see some of these storms and hail would be the major concern there. But then as we look ahead to tonight and into tomorrow, a lot of that energy starts to shift off to the east just a bit. Got the chance for some of those thunderstorms in a place like Little Rock. So the first half of the day, you're doing all right. Later the, in the evening hours, things get a little little more rowdy, if you will. Now, when you look at the probability, tornado probability, because once we go into this phase moving off to the east, notice what you've got highlighted here. Jackson's right smack in the middle where you've got the good chance for tornadoes this month in the month of December. But notice the outline there. We keep the outline in place. Now let's throw in where the Storm Prediction Center is saying, hey, this is where we've got the chance for level two out of five to see some of these storms producing large hail, gusty winds, and maybe some tornadoes. Jane, you can see right smack where this is. It lines up with where we might see it for this time of year. And we'll watch for some of these. Once they race through, I guess the good news is they'll be done. But right. you do have a little bit of energy that's there, some of that storm available energy that maybe was missing a little with that last round we had, like, what, like a week ago or so, I guess now. Yeah, the, the bus that kind of came yeah. from for East Texas, yeah. right? But, you know, this go around, there is more instability. We have some marginal support of wind shear. I do think that what's going to happen is we'll likely be tracking a line of storms. Mm -hmm. And what can get difficult in tracking this line of storms is finding that embedded spin and yeah. twist. And so the tornado potential, while while it might be isolated, it's brief, and it's sometimes difficult to spot, and it just kind of gets yeah. rain-wrapped up in this line of storms that begins to develop as we go through, really, Saturday afternoon. Here's 4 o'clock, so while the energy to the south is tapered, along that boundary, you get down into Arkansas, Ooh, East Texas, that. Louisiana, that line of storms really blossoms, and the threat for damaging wind, straight-line winds, as well as large hail is all going to accompany, accompany this as it treks eastward. Kind of goes from Nashville all the way through Tupelo and Jackson. You saw Jackson right smack in the middle of that. Then you've got almost a second line ahead of that starts to develop once we go through early Sunday. Right. Isn't that so interesting? But look at midnight. Shreveport, yeah. Little Rock, Memphis. Once that line of storms comes through, you're in the clear. Which is great. Which yeah. is great, but you're right. You know, you kind of see this whole shift of energy into the southeast. There is a slim risk for isolated storms for places like Atlanta, mm -hmm. but I don't think that Sunday is going to shape up to be as much of a severe day as what we're expecting to see Saturday afternoon. Right. You see those storms for Houston there. Of course, the next chapter, Jane, as this continues to evolve, affects millions as well. Yeah, the fun doesn't stop no, as we continue up the 95 corridor. This nasty storm loading up to strike the Northeast and New England as we go through Sunday and Monday. And this really, as I mentioned, we, we kind of showed you how the, that, that trough, the jet stream yeah. is going to begin to tilt negatively. Right. And when that happens, we start to see a much more potent storm system develop. And that is going to lead to widespread heavy rain and wind in the northeast and this rain component uh craig we're expecting at least two to three inches to fall by the time saturday evening comes around through early monday morning i mean that's a lot of rain in just say a 24 36 hour stretch for, for the 95 states. corridor for a lot of states pennsylvania new jersey all the way up through new england mm -hmm. here's the timing six o'clock sunday morning jane and look at the rain starting to come through heavy at times you're going to see a lot of that Really expand in real estate coverage all the way up in through, say, New York, Vermont, right. New Hampshire, and Maine, clear down through portions of the Appalachians. But look at this, Jane. What we've also been highlighting is the amount of rain coming down. Behind it, you get the cold air with the snow. Trying to treat the roads will be a trick. Anything they put down will be washed away. Right. And then the snow arrives. Especially in these places like Burlington, yeah. Binghamton. I mean, you start this event with heavy rain. The wind shift happens so quickly, mm -hmm. and that cold air gets forced in, and you do see the change over to snow. There is a snow component to this. We'll get a couple of healthy inches, three to five, up through the Adirondacks. Yeah. Heavy rain, though, going to continue for the Monday morning Ooh, commute from Boston. Oh, this That's... is going to be a tough go of things, especially, too, with the dramatic wind. That is what is going to spell some big trouble as we go overnight and into early Monday because wind to me, Craig, is always the more unsettling part of a forecast. Mm. I don't like the sound of it. I don't like the feel of it. I don't it like makes the damage me more it causes. Nervous. Right, because yeah. y there's not much you can do to protect yourself against the no, wind because the trees, all. they become unstable and then you do, you know, find yourself in, you know, a much more precarious situation 
power outage is going to be a problem. Yeah, especially when you think about the ground being so saturated, a lot of the winds are going to switch direction relatively quickly as well. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.